Hello guys, this is a Simon Expert. In today's example, imagine that an ice skater weighing 75 kilograms is moving with a speed 9.5 meters per second and he crashes into the stationary skater of the same mass. This collision takes place during this short period of time and after the collision, two skaters move as a single unit with a speed 4.75 meters per second. Let's find the average forces experienced by each skater. So, first of all, we need to find the change of the speed for each skater. For the first skater, we have delta V1 equals the final speed of the first skater minus his initial speed and equals 4.75 minus 9.5 and gives us negative 4.75 meters per second. And for the second skater, we have delta V2 equals the final speed of the second skater minus his initial speed. And this is 4.75 minus 0. And we get 4.75 meters per second. Okay, now let's recall what is the average force experienced by the object. This is actually the impulse imparted to the object in a certain time period. And impulse is just the change of the momentum of the object. So we have delta P over delta T. According to the definition of momentum, in the numerator we will get the mass of the object multiplied by the change of the speed of this object. And in the denominator we have our time interval, delta T. So now we have this formula that we can use to find the average force experienced by each skater. And remember that according to the law of Newton, the action force is equal to the reaction force in magnitude, but has opposite direction. So let us find the average force experienced by the second skater first. F2 equals mass, which is 75 times the change of the speed for the second skater, which is 4.75. And in the denominator, we have 0 0.12. And this gives us 2,968.75 Newtons. And now for the first skater, we can simply take this magnitude with the negative sign. So F1 equals negative 2,968.75 Newtons. So here you have it. We have the average force experienced by each skier. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.